Happy last day. Last day. 17 miles. Just a half day. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. We've made it to Cooper Gap, 4.7 miles. Here is a water tank left by the Army Rangers down in Frank D. Merrill Camp. The Army Rangers do their mountain training here in Dahlonega in the National Forest. So this tank is apparently full of water for the Army Rangers. So maybe we run into some training. I've had some sleepless nights listening to running battles through the woods. Texas P, how you feeling, man? Oh, I feel great. We feel pretty good. Oh, yeah. we, we've been hiking uh, since 9.45. The time right now is about 11.15. Did we do that? Five miles in an hour and a half? That's crazy. Is, yeah, we did that. Uh, we're rolling them off here. Wow. We just saw a bobcat like run out on the road in front of us. We're road walking. So yeah, we weren't gonna tell, but this story's too cool though. Yeah, I've never seen a bobcat. And he just stepped out on the road here and looked at looked at Texas Pete and he kind of bounded across. He saw the whole thing, but I didn't see it till it was kind of bounding away. Yeah, that was really cool. Check that off our wildlife list. I was just saying like a day or two ago that I've never seen a bobcat outside. It's it's uh, 1130. Cool. That was cool. I wonder if the army rangers like scared him towards us. Maybe he's a, maybe he is an army ranger. <laughs> maybe the rangers are training reconnaissance bobcats. And now the rangers know of our presence. We are five miles from Springer, coming downhill into Three Forks. We're still a mile from Three Forks. We can hear Long Creek Falls down to our right. It's a really pretty day after some really crazy weather last night. We've met some hikers walking northbound today who talked about being out here last night and it doesn't sound like there was a lot of hail or wind but it was just a ton of rain and we haven't really seen a lot of storm damage either we were a little nervous maybe about the trail being passable or even the road up to springer mountain being passable for the van today but I don't really see, we haven't really seen any storm damage at all. So we've enjoyed the weather that typically follows a storm. Cool, breezy, sunny. And we've enjoyed familiar trail too. We just, we just know this trail. I've been thinking about several backpacking trips we've been on, on this stretch of trail. Probably the, the first that I really know and remember was, um, in in high school for me i had just finished my uh, sophomore year in high school and i came hiking with three other buddies steven and eric and clint we started at amicalola we walked to gerard gap we were total rookies made a ton of fun mistakes uh joni and i hiked this trail together before we were even dating we were working at a summer camp together and we came out to wilderness training weekend with some of the other staff. We have brought campers on this trip uh, through Woody Gap. I know I have pictures of that. We've definitely been on this trail with the boys to Long Creek Falls. This is where we came as a family on our first backpacking trip. And I remember bringing Jasper here on an overnight. Uh, yeah, we've done Springer a bunch of times. We finished in 2018 doing our section hike at Springer. So we've covered this trail a lot. And up here at Three Forks is where we spent the last night of our through hike last year. And we met two braids there. We met uh, Lilo and Stitch. So this is a neat section of trail. It's got a lot of memories on it. We've got uh, five miles left. And then we got to turn around and do a mile back to the parking lot. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna put this one in the books. We've hiked 2,193.4 miles of the Appalachian Trail over the past two years, and we have 0 0.9 to go. So we're hanging here at the parking lot, just waiting on the van crew to show up. North Star picked up Ninja Squirrel and Fish from summer camp today, and they're meeting us up here about five. 
it's 354. I suspect they'll be earlier than five, but who knows? We're content. It's nice to sit down. Oh yeah. We've done 16 miles today. Yeah. I don't think it feels like that. Wow. And it's only like a half day. It's, it's a half day. Yeah, that's a flex. <laughs> um, so they'll join us. I think we'll probably all five head to the summit. We are one mile from Springer Mountain. 0 0.9. That. <laughs> Springer Mountain, and me and Dad just finished the through and two. That's awesome. It's pretty cool. Done. Hey guys, welcome back to Best Trends, and today we're talking about our favorite places on the Appalachian Trail. What about you? Um, okay, I think it's got to be Buzzard Rock. Yeah. Which is not one that gets said much. Uh, but I love being there. Um, <laughs> I'm still thinking. It was... It Big was... butt. <laughs> <laughs> no, it had to be someone up north. There's a fire tower. I'm trying to think of its name. Smart. Glastonbury. Smart. Which where we dropped the rock. Oh we yes. That fire was, tower. That was cool. and, and it just, shattered. It was. Do we get a Smart's was one of my favorite places. You could see so far in like every direction. Same with Buzzard Rock. Buzzard Rock was really cool. You're right. That was cool. We've been walking towards this rock for the last 45 days, and here we are. Uh, it's awesome. Yeah, I'm it's glad cool. we're done. We can check this off, and now we can all go do something besides walk in the woods with heavy packs on our back. <laughs> <laughs> New vacations. <laughs> Any words of wisdom, Texas Pete? Um, I don't know about wisdom, but I'll give a review. Don't lose your spoon. Okay, that's that's. Don't do that. Wait, I want to hear your review. <laughs> don't put coffee in your grits. <laughs> um, I'm just really glad to be done, and I mean, the uh, what Dad said did have some truth in it. Is that we can just not walk in the woods anymore, <laughs> and while I do really do enjoy that. There's a lot of other stuff to do out there. Maybe we could try like floating down a river. Yeah, cool. instead yeah. of walking down a river. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Family of five found dead on Springer Mountain Summit after being struck by lightning. <laughs> on Let's the... get out of here. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Okay. <laughs>